Government workers who have gone without a salary for about two months will now be able to receive full payment after the finance minister was given a directive to immediately deal with the issue. Maria Chiwanuka received the instruction during an NRM caucus meeting convened today at State House in Entebbe to address the very problem. The caucus vice chairperson, also Ndora West MP David Bahati, confirms the development. The caucus has directed the Minister of Finance to pay the legitimate civil servant immediately without any further delay and also requested the Attorney General to look into all those legalities surrounding the financial procedures regarding this issue and advise the government within one day so that people who have missed out salaries from two months, three months can be paid. It was also revealed that the salaries of civil servants have already been increased upwards by 4%. Teachers have been demanding a 20% salary increment, which is yet to be met. However, Bahati says government will in the meantime facilitate them through SACOs. Well, the Minister of Public Service informed the caucus that the 4% increment for all civil servants was effected as the caucus agreed to continue supporting the welfare of teachers. And uh, we have agreed that five billion for the circle, circle for teachers should be supported, not only for this financial year, but also for all the next uh, coming four years, totaling to 25 billion. Well, a teacher out there is definitely wondering how they will be able to access this money. What's going to be happening will be an, uh, an infrastructure uh, at the national level that will trickle down to the lower levels so that all the teachers can have this opportunity to utilize the services of this circle and benefit. His Excellency the President will be meeting the, uh, the executive of the teachers' union uh, to resolve on the pending issues. Evelyn Anite, the caucus's spokesperson, says the meeting also highlighted the need for holistic rapid infrastructure growth throughout the country. This financial year's budget will focus on infrastructure such as roads, power, and water for us to boost the growth of the, the country's economy. And as soon as we do, we finish that and then we'll be in position to look at uh, enhancement of involvement of public servants further. Government has been hit by shortfalls since donors drastically slashed their funding to the country following the massive graft uncovered in the office of the Prime Minister. The delays in paying government staff and increase in taxes this financial year are seen as some of the consequences of the cuts. Gabriela Penu, NTV.